Hey y'all, Melissa here. Um, you know, I have seen stuff about video making, filmmaking, which I'm working on. And a lot of people say, don't post every day. Do a video once a week. Um, I do mine pretty much daily now. And the reason for that is because I feel like it's important to be there for others. It is really important in life to be there for others. It is so easy to wake up one day and have something happen. Um, I'm someone who has been like through one crisis after another and I'm not feeling bad for myself at all when I say that. It's just life, you know, life sometimes is crazy. So uh, what I wanted to share too today is not only being there for others, but let other women be there for you. Um, let other women mother you. So for example, um, okay, just finishing up a post abortive class pretty soon. And what do I have? Like three weeks left, not counting this holiday weekend. And, um, it's important to let other women mother you. So I had this situation where I was like, you know what? I just can't get through this. I, I feel a forced abortion, the pressure, the feeling of the pressure keeps coming back. And uh, no matter how much I try to remember some stuff, I can't. And um, I think that's common for women, trying to remember stuff between maybe a miscarriage to an abortion to a second abortion or something. I mean, there's a lot there. So I just, you know, when you go through trauma, you cannot remember things sometimes. And it's the brain's way of protecting you. So, um, I had said to this lady, okay, so this is how I'm feeling. And she said, you're not there anymore. And I shared that, but she said, I had said, okay, so if I get through this, basically, you know, it's going to hurt. And she said, yeah, it is. It is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. You know, it's probably going to hurt bad. And so, um, when we do start remembering stuff and we take it to God and we let him, um, you know, we just talk to him about it. We let him carry us. We let him in instead of that self-protective, um, you know, wall that we have, it's, it's going to be really healthy. And yeah, I did, I did go to God, um, with different memories but there was another one that was really difficult for me and it's just like you know god knows god saw the people who killed your children and i do blame doctors more than anybody because when you're a young girl you don't always know what an abortion is or what's going on or you you know they're educated more than any young girl is so one of the most intimate, vulnerable moments of an abortion to me was not when I was um, not when I was at the doctor's office. It was when I was taken to a restaurant, and then because the waitress asked if I was okay, I was then taken in a car, and I just laid there in pain. Um, that was like, I mean. I did try to move around. I was so uncomfortable. Um, no medical care, no help. The pain was excruciating. So letting God in there and then the other moment that was really one of the most private, vulnerable moments for me was not only was I scared after they put something in me and dilated me, then I was taken to a restaurant in the car. I do not remember when I how I got back to the doctor's office. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, did I faint with the pain? I do not know. But I remember waking up if I fainted or somehow being on that table and seeing them just like kill my baby. Seeing the blood in the machine real quick. And then the nurse came over and um, she blocked that view so I would not be able to see and held my hand and said it will be okay. Then I just zoned out. I just like was staring at the wall until they were done. So that was a real intimate moment and to bring God into that and for him to say, I saw it, I saw it. I was with you and I saw it and I saw them kill your baby. 
you know he saw the whole thing so when we can give things to God and have other women just come alongside us and say yep it's gonna hurt you know and nurture you and care about you and um, even to say you know to to bring you to keep pushing you forward you know so we have a memorial on the way of that life um, with other women who have lost their children through the abortion industry and you know it's not about the blame game of whose fault it was it's about God's grace and forgiveness that he gives us and um, so to have other women too mother you and move you along and say okay I'm going to see you at that memorial or um, or to share their experience with you to have women share this is kind of what mothering should be like um, obviously things happen in life but when you have other women around you and I've had other women around me my whole entire life um, who who have been like mentors to me Plus my girlfriends in school. I mean, I loved my girlfriends in school. Um, we had a lot of fun together. But um, yeah, I do tend though to get along with men better. And I don't know why. I don't like drama. Men to me usually are not real dramatic. Um, you know, probably because I have sons too. Men are simple, easy to get along with usually. Um, girls, you know, depending on what type of woman you hang around with, I tend to like a lot of mature women because they're they're sisterly to you. I remember being in hairdressing school and the girls were just so catty. So so catty. I mean there was there was a couple we were good but most of them very competitive, wanting to compete with you, wanting to, you know, show off and act like they're better than you. We're in the restaurant business, a lot of catty girls there. So I guess that's how I am. I tend to like to hang around with guys better because they're just so simple. And um, so just but those women I do have in my life, let them mother you, let them care about you. And especially if you have had, you know, different areas in your life growing up, you're healing that and you're letting them get into those wounds that you did not have the nurturing that you should have had.